Hey, good morning, score of contracts people and gov contracts folks out there. My name is Eric Coffee, host of the YouTube channel scorecontracts.com. Today, we want to discuss Nico. We always talk about FedBizOps and FedBid.com, and we don't spend a lot of time looking at this website, Nico, which is neco.navy.mil. You'll see it here on the screen. I was browsing through Nico. And the reason why is one of our clients, NAFAC, they mentioned to us that, in fact, the majority of their jobs and solicitations are posted on the NICO website. However, on the NICO website, I asked them if that information transferred over to FedBizOps, and they said not all the time. In fact, the majority of the time, the information doesn't even transfer because NICO is an outdated system. And because this is an older system, all of the information doesn't get transferred over. So let's take a look at the NICO.Navy.Mil site because a lot of people out there are using FedBizOps and they're forgetting about NICO. So here on NICO, I just click the search bar. And uh, so now we're looking at direct solicitations. So for example, let me, let's go to Google Maps and I want to do something. Now let's type in Navy. All right, so you see there's a Navy recruiting office, Navy recruiting center here. Old Navy, we don't want Old Navy. So we've got a couple of Navy recruiting centers here. So it doesn't look like much in Florida. Let's go in here and search this area. All right, so you see some Navy recruiting areas. So you can see there's a lot of Navy recruitment facilities. If we type in Naval, all right, you'll see submarine base or Naval complex. Uh, there's a surface of water under or to sea. So you can see, you can find out where the naval facilities are by just doing a Google search type of naval. And what we're going to do, we're going to go back over to NACO and let's see, you got Naval Hospital, Jacksonville, San Diego. I'm going to go up to the area where I'm working at, which is NAVFAC Mid Atlant. And I'm going to look for opportunities. I'm just going to do a broad search NAVFAC Mid Atlant. And I'm not even going to type in NAXCO just yet. We're I don't have any information. I'm just going to type in this, click search, and it pulls up 84 records. Now, the reason why I brought you here today was because I want to show you something that I thought was interesting, and I saw it as an opportunity for some people to, that were getting started. This is different in FedBizOps because what I find in Nico is it seems like they're using a lot of the IDIQs, the multiple year contracts like the Max, the Matox and things of that nature. And what they do differently than I saw in FedBizOps was they listed the actual Mac holders, meaning that here, because I did reach out to the small business guy, he gave me this listing of, so for example, Midland covers obviously the Atlantic Ocean, everything touching the Atlantic Ocean. He gave me this list of contract holders, which were the, the prime contractors, right? So these guys had the prime contract and it looks like it, because of this note here, it started in 2016. So it's gonna last till 2021. So these are the four companies that in this particular Mac, Pennsylvania, they're gonna be doing the majority of the work. Same thing here. This is the Mac holders for the IDIQ contract. So those are the big boys, right? And these five companies are gonna be doing work. Uh, let's see if they've got a number on here. It looks like this was started in 17. So they'll be working to 2022. They've got a hub zone Mac here out of Norfolk. Same thing. Looks like it was issued in 17. And you'll see some of the company's names and information here. So, you know, going back over to the actual Nico website, if you don't have that information like I had available, if you look on a solicitation, it will tell you in the description whether or not it's available for the open public or if it's available only to those Mac holders. And then what I saw this morning when I was browsing through is it listed the Mac holders. So it made it really easy for you to go on there, find out who they are, and then you could extrapolate their name information from sam.gov, the website, and find out who the person is. There's also a other world of opportunity out here that a lot of us are not finding. I get people reaching out to me all the time saying, Eric, I'm looking on FedBizOps. I don't find any jobs or any contracts uh, in my particular niche or my market. So this is another source to go and look at opportunities for you. This is Newport Naval Station in Rhode Island. It says this is going to be simplified acquisition procedures. Simplified acquisition procedures means what? Anything under 250 goes to small business. It's upgrade fire alarms. It's not something we do, but it's great to know that it's going out simplified acquisition. It'll probably be sole sourced to someone. Uh, replace some cooling towers. Again, those are open solicitations. Here's an example right here. Uh, this procurement is restricted to many MAC contract holders. Only the many MAC contract holders listed on RSP may submit a proposal. Perfect. Now, what you can do is one is you can reach out to Jennifer here and call Jennifer and ask Jennifer the list of the many MAC holders. 
since her name and number is on there. That's probably what I would do if you didn't have that information available. Hey, Jennifer, this is Eric. I'm calling today from, you know, Mac Construction. We are looking at the opportunity here that you've got for the pumps, motors, and drives. Do you happen to have the list of many Mac contract holders? I'm a subcontractor. This is what I do. And I'd like to reach out to one of them to give them a good price on the job. And that's it. Moving on, same thing. Look here, apply weather resistant coating. Again, this is going out to many Mac contract holders. It says in a proposal, we can click on the solicitation. Here's all of Brad's information. Here's the files. Let's see if anything comes up interesting. All right, so here you go. Apply weather resistant coating. Sounds like it goes to a roof. Scope of services, summary of work. Location, drawings. There you go. And that's what we're looking for. These are the companies that you can use to actually bid the contract. So you would want to reach out to them directly. You know, you want to reach out to Robert. You want to reach out to Damon Jones. You want to reach out to Ozzy, Mark, and see if there's any opportunities available for you to help with that particular project. This is excellent because, like I said, you already see what the projects are. And you can solicit to them to provide your bid, your proposal to that particular organization. This is a lot easier than actually going as a prime because why? your past performance can be non-government related. And a lot of times if you give them a good price and you seem like you're competent, you've covered all the bases, they're probably not gonna ask you for past performance because a lot of, you know, I know for a fact when I'm out there and I'm subcontracting out some of the guys, like say, for example, say doors or windows, you know, you could take people's word of mouth, uh, but you're not actually going in and really interviewing them per se. Uh, and again, it depends on the, the size and complexity of the project. But for the most part, you don't really find that. So again, the uh, purpose of the video today is, like I said, I want to give people another option out there. For those of you who feel as though you've exhausted your FedBizOps opportunities, this NECA website doesn't necessarily cross-reference. In fact, like I said, I was told that for the majority of the time, it doesn't go over into FedBizOps. So this makes it a great pool to uh, fish out of because why? There's not a lot of people fishing over here for contract opportunities. Only mechanical Mac contract holders. This is cool because if you are a mechanical company and you are looking for, you're saying, well, I've, Eric, I've never seen any particular set aside for mechanical companies. Here is a set aside for mechanical company. If you don't know mechanical, that's basically HVAC type corporations. Here's a mini Mac for mechanical companies. We could go look in the solicitation. Here's some documents. What I would do if I were you, I'd get the names of the Mac contract holders and you could find out. Let me see if I could pull it up really quickly as an example. If you were my client, I would say, listen, we want to be on the next upcoming Mac. So I would get the list of all the Mac holders, find out what the number was, and you could find out really easily uh, when their that Mac expires. And then also go back and look at the requirements so that we can be prepared to when a Mac comes out again, we could be on that particular Mac contract. Oh, by the way, I know I'm using another acronym, Mac, uh, multiple award construction contract for those of you who were out there asking. All right, this inf it doesn't look like the information is here. We're not gonna scroll through the whole thing. Let's see. All right, perfect. This is what we're looking for. All right, so these are the Mac contract holders. Now, this Mac was issued in 14. See that? So this Mac was issued in 14. I would definitely reach out to the person in charge and find out because look at this project. All right, the Mac uh, estimate ranges between five and 10 million. That's for this particular project. So this is a nice size job for our AC guy. <laughs> All right, R5 is going to sit it by the prime contractor to this person, which means what? That means that to me, the government already knows that they're going to be subcontractors submitting information and wanting to bid this job and participate. So that's why they're saying our fries must be submitted by the prime contractors only. So again, other people are already doing this. So you just want to, I'd jump in with one of these guys and see how I could get on this particular Mac. And I would beg the differ that these people, when I'm looking at the information where they're from, I bet you some of these companies are interrelated. I would find out from the Ostabu, I call Lauren right here. Pick up the phone, I call Lauren, I'd find out when this Mac expires and also how to be prepared for when it comes out again. Moving on, same thing, Lejeune, uh, North Portsmouth Shipyard. Look at this, Mid-Atlantic 8A Mac. Want, look at that. So again, there's an 8A Mac. So they have, I mean, I've seen Hub Zone Max, 8A Max. Now we've seen Mechanical Max. Uh, they've got, look, Hub Zone Design Build, Design Bid Build, IDIQ, uh, Multiple War Construction Contract Mac. 
So look at that. These people got a design build Mac, Hub Zone design build Mac. The Navy, they seem to have it right. When they're, when they're actually looking for small businesses, a lot of times if you're, you're saying to yourself, and I know we ran into this roadblock for my client, when we're saying to ourselves, well, Eric, where are the jobs at for the Navy? Why aren't they posting? Why are you not seeing Navy projects on Fabus Ops? Because what they're doing is they're lumping all of their small projects into a blanket purchase order, an IDIQ, multiple award con- construction contract. They're lumping it all together, right? And then they're pre-qualifying a few companies to handle all of the upcoming projects for the next five years. Very efficient way of doing so, I might say, you know, myself. But it seems like that's the way that they're doing contracts. So if you out there are interested at all in working with the Navy, it looks like this is going to be the, the best approach that I could suggest right now in working with them. Look at this. Design, build, construction, Albany, 200,000 square foot, dehumidifier, storage facility. I mean, these people are going to need everything on that facility. If it's 200,000 square feet storage for ground weapon systems, right? They're going to need electronics. They're going to need everything in construction. They're going to need site work out there for you guys that are supplying. They're going to need metal panels. They're going to need HVAC systems, HVAC. Uh, they're... This project is going to need uh, the whole gamut of supplies and or materials in order to facilitate that. So I'll definitely a good project to look at. In fact, let me zoom in so we can see this good. Uh, look at that mini Mac holder. All right. Here's a Coast Guard support structure. And like I said, there's 84 records just in Midland alone. And Midland, let's see if we can find it. But again, when I know when it says Atlantic and it's NAFAC, it covers Atlantic Ocean. Mid-length to me would mean the mid part looks like everything from say Virginia up until up to Maine. Look, civil paving mat contractors. So if you're a specialty contractor, you may want to pursue opportunities at NAFAC. And if you're a subcontractor that's looking to build relationships, past performance history, I would definitely approach some of these uh, Mac contract holders and start soliciting right away for potential upcoming jobs. All right, guys, listen, I just want to do a walkthrough this morning of Nico.Navy.Mail. I saw some potential opportunities for people. And as always, I like to share immediately once I've uh, realized some things out there. So I hope this helps some people out there today and we'll see you next time.